Tishok, I will welcome the Tishok here today. I think it's a great honor for all having our association to have the Dr. Tishok Dr. Ehan here today. You must excuse me because I'm very nervous. <laughs> I don't be like having to step up and talk to so many people. I'd like to welcome all our mayor here as well today. I'd like to welcome all our mayor here. First of all, I'm sure you come here to listen to me today, so I just say a small few words. I'd like to thank the sponsors, who are one of the sponsors who sponsored the book. Uh, also, I'd like to thank the evening for the coverage they give us all the season. It gives us great coverage in the evening newspaper. Um, I'd also like to thank John Collin, he's a man we wouldn't be here lot only for John. And I'm sure John put an awful lot of work into this book, and I hope, I hope his wife Gloria put up for it. Many, many thanks to Gloria as well. John was writing this book all over Christmas when the rest of us was out enjoying himself, and John was at home writing the book. So many, many thanks to John. And when John told me that the T-shirt was coming out to present the book, but I said, John, you were always going to the top. So <laughs> I'd also like to welcome our friends here across the wall. <laughs> so again, I have to thank the Tijik for coming down here today. Thank you for us for the rest of the day. And I'd also like to thank the Mayfield and the Holding of Football Club for having me. And the deputies, ladies and gentlemen, there's uh, a lot of public representatives along here with the Lord Mayor and Minister Danny Watcher of the Cork City uh, Council Harrier Association and to all your friends. <laughs> Uh, in the sport, uh, it's great to be along with you today. And I want to say it's a great pleasure to be with you for uh, to officially launch uh, this book. And uh, as being said uh, already, uh, it's never an easy task trying to, to research a book, and it's certainly never an easy task for uh, your sponsors and the <laughs> in the echo uh, in a big way. A project research, and ladies and gentlemen, the, the history of any organisation takes a, a huge amount of dedication and commitment. And John's work in compiling a history of drag rugby, a sport which goes back to the 18th century is, is truly remarkable and I know John that you've had a long association with the, the Cork City and County Couriers and Association and been involved with it for a quarter of a century. So you're an ideal person to take on the compilation and publication uh, of this uh, fine book. I also want to acknowledge uh, today the addresses, James, and, and all of the rest, and I think uh, this book certainly gives a, a good run through that. <coughs> I hear too that you've great service done, uh, done nice with the sport and uh, money, uh, who uh, was uh, uh, always at this money at the current, uh, who's, I don't know if he's here today, but he's uh, spent, when we were all kids, uh, from the mother's people talking about valuation. And I was reading through that today, the clubs that were in it, the size of the organisation, the association, uh, back in, in other times, and uh, I think you should correctly describe John as that, unlike uh, other sports uh, with so many other attractions and so many entertainments, as you, you point out in, the, uh, in, in your introduction to the book, uh, that these things go up and down, but they do go up and down. Uh, I think your book will help a bit to people to, to feature in, and you also give a very good explanation uh, of the changes and how it's developed, which I found uh, quite fascinating, uh, the, the switches through times uh, and the uh, the, the changes which in their own time uh, no doubt were uh, difficult enough for people to make and to move on and uh, it is really interesting. And the book is a, uh, gives a, a very good account of that and it's so sort of recorded in this book uh, that shows the changes, that shows the movements and uh, John to congratulate you to, uh, to thank the people. Like a lot of things, a book like this and the, the, the uh, efforts that the Echo have put into the highlightness uh, perhaps will even help you go back into the strengths uh, that you outline uh, so vividly in your book. So congratulations and well done. It's my great pleasure to formally acknowledge uh, the hundred years of back home. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely shaking. <laughs> T-shirt, Lord Mayor, Ministers of the Government, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it gives me great honour, especially in the presence of a T-shirt, Bertie Evans, to produce a book for the Dragon Day people of Cork, because I have learned in my time 
in, involved in this OS, I, I will just explain to you about the power of the Eden Echo with drag hunting. When I returned from the UK, drag hunting was at an all-time low. Sadly, we're living in an affluent society and there's nothing we could do about it. So I have some good friends like the chairman here, Christy Keating, very, very, very hard-working chairman. So they asked me would I take over the writing. So the Lord of Mercy on Joel O'Mahony, which was a famous carrier man in Cork, and a top newspaper vendor with Eden and Echo. So the Eden Echo decided to sponsor the Joel O'Mahony Memorial Dragons. Now, at a, at a normal stage, we were talking about two to three hundred people drag hunting had gone that low. For three weeks, the Evening Echo, we ran a build-up to the life of Don. <laughs> I must point out also, on behalf of everybody here, I think you do a marvellous job for the sport, both breweries. Thank you. I was once told, I just explained a book, the book really, I, I changed the strategy from my first book because I felt the first book, there was no, no good putting down and giving a teacher, a, a book to the never, never got, you know, he was in, in, in a hospital in Cumbria. Eventually, anyway, you see him walk and things. I think Christy Keane was the first man that he met. Now, Joe Matter had a pub called the Fox and Hounds in Emily, it's a beautiful part of the Lake District. And it could be 12 or 14 Irish. When I saw the prize in book, it takes a lot of time out of your life. People don't understand is that I have a full-time job. We are a sales representative, so I'm only a part-time correspondent. And the books I've written, I did it when I came in from work, because it's a passion. Now, we'd like to call on Dennis Lee Hall and we'll bring me a cup of coffee. And we also have a little moment to hear from the T-shirt. Never leave Cork. <laughs> Why don't you come to Cork tonight? You'll never get me to it. There's a little story about this.